So you just downloaded Pro Tools, but you forgot one thing. You don't know what the f you're doing. Uh-oh. Aloha boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to record vocals into Pro Tools. It's super simple, let's get started. All right, you guys, so here we are. We are in the dashboard menu, and this is the first thing that you're gonna see after Pro Tools loads up. So let's go ahead and name our session my first, not frist, my first session. And we're not gonna worry about all this stuff down here. I'll do another video later kind of explaining what all this means, but we'll keep it at the default setting right now. And I'm even okay with it being at 48K. And let's go ahead and hit create. And so this is what you're gonna see every time you open up Pro Tools, unless you make a template uh, which we can also talk about at a later video, but we want to get you started recording right now. Let's say you have an idea. I need to get it out. You want this to be like the back of your hand. So first thing you want to check is you want to go to playback engine. And the reason is, so for example, right here, um, it'll say Pro Tools aggregate, or sometimes it'll just be your built-in input and it'll just be the mic that's on your computer and it's gonna sound like garbage. So we wanna make sure that we are choosing, for me, this is gonna be Universal Audio Thunderbolt because that's what I'm using. I'm using the Apollo Twin. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna shut down and it's gonna open back up so we have full control of our inputs from our interface. So hit okay and we are back up. Okay, so that's step two. Step three, we're going to Actually, let me show you how to do it this way. So we're gonna go to track and hit new. And we're just gonna create one right now. So create one mono audio track and you can leave that in samples. Create, there you go. That's your first track, congratulations. But we're not done. So step four is to choose your, oh, actually, let me name this really quick. So mic one, or you can name it vocals so choose your input so we're going to choose mic line one right there so basically what that's doing is that's selecting the input of your interface so if you have your vocals plugged into input two you would hit input two if it was if you had your vocals plugged into input three then you choose input three so basically once you know how to do one track on this when you see those sessions and it has like 60 tracks open, it's the same thing. It's just multiplied. Does that make sense? Let me know. If this is making sense to you, comment Aloha down below, just so I know you guys are following along. Okay, so for step four, we are going to enable the track. So that's this little button off to the left. Once it turns red, you know we're on, and you also know because you see the signal. If you guys can see that, there's a signal going right there. We're good, we're not clipping out, which means we're going into the red. Um, that's a pretty good signal right there. And so step six, master record enable, and then hit play. Check, check, there you go, and that's it. So I want you guys to take that, start making bangers right away. There are some keyboard short shortcuts I'm going to flash up on the screen that could help you guys depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. And um, pretty much once you start doing this over and over again, it becomes like second nature. So for my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to record guitar or any other instruments. So make sure you guys subscribe. And if this video was helpful, give me a like. All right, talk to you guys soon. Aloha.